Hello, so today I'm going to be demonstrating Notify Voice Evac using the audio message generator uh, NFS320 SYS. So we have the you know, NFS320 SYS, the AMG1, ACM24 AT, NBG12 LX, uh, FCM1, and the 2092. Oh my god, I looked this like a couple minutes ago. 9704. 9704. So, basically, I'm gonna do a demonstration of. The, this going into alarm and stuff because I know people want that faster and then I'll demonstrate how to set this up if you ever have a notifier on X panel and an AMG because I had to learn this by myself and it wasn't easy basically first I'm going to do aux call it's going to activate this control module and the speaker testing testing one two three You'll notice that it's a bit quiet because I don't have an amplifier on it. There's, I do have one for service Pyotronics, but I just was too lazy to set that up right now. It's going into trouble because there's no proper resistor on here. Okay, so, I, so the first thing you can do is activate the AMG using the notification appliance 1. So you can do that through this. Sadly, I can't get this to activate from that because I would need to go into Fairfire tools. I'm kind of lazy for that. So let's just do you just have to hear from the local speaker It's just doing a steady horn Okay, now I turned off that knack so now we're going to do a full alarm, and I'm not exactly sure what tone this is going to be in, but much time. I thought I changed the tone on this. Okay, maybe now it's different? No, it's the same, but I think... Yeah, now if I signal silence it, it changes to a third tone. If you don't search uh, dip switch number two, it only has... Okay, hold on, let me reset the system. So dip switch number two has special, like, different sounds. So if you have dip switch two off, you only have a, a drill or knack one tone and an alarm tone. If you silence it, this will still go on in the original tone. If, knack, if you have switch two, on then you're gonna have a silence tone as well which I which is unique and you could get it through if you had this programmed correctly but yeah I think that's all so now I'm gonna demonstrate how I have to set up so after a notifier AMG you would have this really complicated cable that's meant for the MPS 400 but basically if you look over here you see there's a 24, there's a 5 volt, 24 volt, and like 4 system commons. What I did is you have to use this port. So that first one over there, that's for your 5 volts. 5 volts is for this leg and that one. So you have that red wire going over there. Then the two commons can, then you can put two commons on those middle ones. And then you put the 24 volts, which is brown in this case for that second one. You want to double check that these are actually going to where they need to be but this is how it works for me. I cut off all the excess cables that are over here. I'm not exactly sure what they do but this is how it's working for me. So then you want to go into your panel programming. Let me do that. Definitely hard to guess default password and then you want to go to system ACSY and then you want to have your first enunciator. This is your first enunciator and you got to set that to A. The second one is for this one which I also have set to A. It's just my, it's just, this is my preferred enunciator. And then what you want to make sure is that you have your NAC1 set to no coding and silenceable because that NAC1 controls 
this thing. So this is just what I have for NAC1. And then you want to make sure that the module... I think this is 001. Yeah, then you want your control module to be a speaker, silenceable, and then a zone. The reason why you want it to be silenceable is so that it can go off during drill, and I think all call. If you don't have that, if you have this on 9 silenceable, it won't do that. But it will do that other secret third tone when you put the system in silence. Not really a secret, but... I would I would program your enunciator with verifier tools in order to control this, but I'm I'm not I'm kind of apathetic to use that because it takes a while for it to download. But yeah, and then so you have your cables going in there, and then you want the and then if you do have enunciator, you're just gonna jump that off to the next one. So this one will be two because this one is always your first enunciator, and then this just gets you at 24 volts non resettable and then with the uh it's different if you have an amplifier which i'm gonna soon get hopefully you would usually just use this cable and then the things come out but if you're not using an amplifier or you're using an external one you or yeah, this is for a non amplifier use you just take it out from over here audio output plus or minus output so this goes out, this goes to your external power on your FCM, and then you just put the speaker over there. Or if you had amplifier, this would go to your amplifier input, and then your output would go over here. Or you can make this the first, and then you control the amplifier with this. It's, it's up to you whether or not you want to control the low voltage, pre-amplifier or the amplified voltage. I want to do it pre-amplifier because I just find it safer in my mind. But you can put this after the amplifier, which I think once I get the notify amplifier, I think I will have to use this to control the amplified input, output. But yeah, that should be everything. I'm going to do a drill. And then if you have questions, leave them in the comments. Because this was confusing for me to wire. I just randomly saw. Yeah, I just randomly saw that these had their voltages labeled, and that's how I figured it out. If it wasn't there, I wouldn't be able to set this up. So I'm gonna just do a system reset. And that should be good. There's only system initialization, battery, and uh, module being. Not having a resistor on it, that's the only troubles. But yeah, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, the reason it's not on my cabinet is because this is easier to work this way. And the cabinet's kind of big and bulky. And I don't even have the chassis for this yet. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.